Okay, so I'm planning on going to the Somerset levels, and I'm going to get those nice sunset shots. So quickly, I'm going to show you what I've done. I've planned and packed all my gear and planned when sunset's going to be. And I'll oh, just quickly show you down here. Yep, so I've, plan I've packed all my gear here. Uh, things like slower pancake lens, 24mm equivalent, and a couple vintage, and obviously kit lens just in case. And I've got brand new. Um, I've got a brand new SD card because I had a couple issues with um, it write speed. I only used a 80 or so megabyte per second card, and that was just chundering along. It wasn't even doing very well. So I bought a Lexar 150 megabyte by second. I'm not very clever on this one, but I found no issues with that, especially when I'm doing long exposure and processing. So that should help. So I'm not really going to plan on doing many long exposures, but we'll see how it goes, so I'll see where you go. So one thing I've noticed already, there's loads of wildlife around here, and sometimes as a landscape photographer, having some wildlife in your shots can make it that much uh, more realistic, because the problem is a lot of people, when they get their images into Lightroom or Photoshop, you go straight away and you try to get rid of everything, don't, don't want anything in your image to ruin that vista look. But sometimes those minimalist parts of your image can actually add to your image. So things I've done before is have just a, a lonely horse in the background, and it just brings the eye of the um, the viewer into it. Because sometimes an image doesn't have to have leading lines and interesting foreground, because the image is that beautiful. Ah, the arch endless of any photographer. Viewing platforms, yeah, are brilliant. You can see what the beauty is, but it's closed off. You can't get your camera there. Up there would be beautiful. Problem is, reeds, viewing platform, barriers. Why do you do this? Okay, that's the location I'm using. And what I've done, I'm going to set the tripod up in such a horrible way, but I originally wanted to use that because there's a purple sky, but I'm going to try using the polarizer back over here, just where that hut is, because it might be a lake location, but just look at that. So I'm going to try using something like that, see how it goes. Okay, so not really a successful shoot right now. Um, there were some images, but unfortunately... There wasn't really good enough um, foreground information and there was lots of reads, which is good, but then at the same time you can't really focus in on those images. I've got a couple images which I'll put up on top, um, but the problem was, and that's what you'll learn from some shoots where you fail, what went wrong and how can you improve it, and the improvement was find a location where you can access wide areas, because I didn't normally do vista shots and there was no area really for a vista shot so then I tried to do some kind of simplistic image and again the simplistic image was there but it was cluttered and I didn't have I used lenses I've used 50s 135 my 24 really close see if I can get there but that didn't end up working so sometimes failure isn't always a bad thing because what I'm going to do I'll post some images that I did on a last photo shoot when I went to Bristol and that was cluttered but that was a totally different style so Sometimes coming out doesn't always equal a good uh, gaining images, but you always find a location. So always come out to a location nevertheless, even if you don't expect to make an image. I didn't expect to come out to, to Bristol and make an image, but I ended up making tons that I loved. So moral story is just if you don't find a location, do it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment below. or head over to my 500 pics uh, website and or my website myself they'll be linked again below and critique my images comment below what you think about my images and put a link in there and say what you want to what, what would you see improvement on or 
um, asked me locations and semi-locations that I could go out to in England because I'm always up for it. So I'm going to finish off with a bit of astrophotography. Maybe it might work. The last one didn't work so well, but we'll see how it goes. See you later, guys.